Hi! Alright, this is preparing for Unit 2 test. So, the first one here, we're looking at this system here, and we're trying to figure out which values of k that the system has no solution. So, if you recall, if two lines have no solution, that means that they are not ever intersecting, which means that they are parallel to each other. So, the first thing I need to do is I need to move things around so that this looks like this, because it will make life a lot easier. So, I'm going to move the 6x over. and I'm going to divide by 3. So this is the problem here. And if you notice, I want these to be parallel. So parallel means I have to have the same slope. So if I plug in negative 2 in here, these would have the same slope, but they would have different y-intercepts. So one would be up at 5, and one would be at 4, and so those would be parallel to each other. Uh, happy days, we gave all of these the same. So we're not trying to mess with you here. Um, so we're looking at this one here, and now we're trying to figure out that, so it has infinitely many solutions. Remember, infinitely many solution means that one line is right on top of the other line. So the slopes obviously need to be the same. You can't change that anyhow. And we're looking at these values here. Well, if it was a 4, then these would be identical, and so they would have infinitely many solutions. Let's go, uh, so this one is already in the nice little format here. And so what we're doing is we're trying to change this one. So this one might be a little confusing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move things around. So it kind of looks like this one here. So I'm going to have ky equals negative 8x plus 14. And then I'm going to put the k underneath all of these. So I'm going to have y is equal to negative 8 over k plus 14 over k. So we want to have infinitely many solutions. So in other words, what we want is that, so did everybody catch that? I just moved the 8x over, and then I divided everything by k so that it was in this same format here, so I could kind of tell what was going on there. So I want to have infinitely many solutions, meaning I want these two things to be identical. And if I look, I want a negative 8 to turn into a 4. So if k was a negative 2, negative 8 divided by negative 2 would be 4 and 14 divided by a negative 2 would equal uh, a negative 7. So let me just check and see if I made a mistake here. We move the negative 8 over, we divided by the k. So I'm thinking this is maybe an incorrect question because again, negative 8 uh, divided by a negative 2 is a positive 4, so that is good. But unfortunately, when I divide a 14 by a negative 2, I get a negative 7. So that would be no solution. So we need to look at this again, but the same process here is true. Negative 8 divided by a negative 2 should be a positive uh, 4, which should have worked on that one there. So we'll check that out again. Um, actually, we'll just make that a negative 7 because I'm sure that's what you're going to be looking at there. Okay, uh, let's put these guys together.